What is up, my dudes? It's gonna be kind of a different video today. Are you a Redditor? If you are, you probably noticed this thing called r slash place. One of the most interesting things on the internet over the past weekend. If you haven't been in there, you are missing out, especially if you're a Twitch fro. Yesterday, after getting absolutely rolled in Valorant, I clicked on Ludwig's stream, only to see him looking at what I thought was a bunch of NFT cringe. But the more I watched and the longer that I sat there and partook in this, I realized that there was a lot more going on here. Basically, the way r slash place works is every Redditor, big or small, gets one pixel over an allotted time period. If you're a verified Redditor, you get one pixel every five minutes. If you're not, you get it every 20. It depends on the timing. Or if you're a mod, you can just cheat and, you know, place it whenever you want. But what it has turned into is these streamers flexing their communities, taking up spaces where they want to. It's a way for them to wage war against each other, to troll, and in some cases, like XQC, just troll the whole space and destroy large swaths of the map. In my opinion, the most powerful of these people on this board is Mizgif. He's used his power and his community to create multiple works that have stood the test of time on the board. On stream, he was literally signing treaties with other communities in order for protection and to attack other places on the map. He was using these treaties to protect his most prized possession, a Donkey Kong statue right in the center of the map. Now, I am not saying I don't love the Dong. The Dong is sacred and an absolutely fantastic piece of artwork and I think it should be protected. And I think the community can agree there. But does the internet really want one man controlling so many places on the board? I say we show Ms. Kiff and these other streamers what the internet is really all about. Down in the bottom left hand corner, there's a little frog statue with OTK written on it. This is Ms. Kiff's org and kind of his symbol, the frog. I say we strike on the frog, blacking it out forever. Keep the square black for as long as possible. Today is the last day of r slash place. And these streamers have been having their way with the community for as long as they want, using it for content. But this space is about all of us, not just these content creators. It's about making flags. It's about making pixel art. It's about drawing dicks and Among Us characters, not stroking the egos of millionaires and some of the world's biggest internet personalities. Do as you will with your time and your pixels, but I, for one, will be attacking the OTK Frog all day. And if you want to, come join me in bringing down one of the internet's biggest personalities and characters. I appreciate your time, and if you want to check out more of my content, do so. I appreciate you guys. Thank you.